Hello and welcome to Exploring Triangles. This is Chapter 11, Lesson 2 from the Nelson Math Focus Textbook. You're listening to MathCasts with Mr. Burko. In our second lesson, our goal is to determine the possible side lengths of triangles. And if you turn to page 353, you will learn that uh, there is a group of people that are trying to build a walking path in a park. They want to make the walking path a perimeter of 12 kilometers. Now, you will remember that there are three types of triangles that we've studied in the first lesson. We have the equilateral, in which all sides are the equal length. We have the isosceles, in which two sides are equal length, but one side is not. And we have scalene, in which all sides are different from each other. Now, if you need a refresher on what the perimeter is, the perimeter is when you have, for instance, a triangle, and you add the distance of all the sides. So if you have a triangle, you'll have three sides. So you can call it A, B, and C. Um, in this case, the sides are all going to be the same length, of course, because it's an equilateral triangle. But your perimeter will equal all of those added together. So if A was 2 kilometers and B was 2 kilometers and C was 2 kilometers, then you'd have a perimeter of 6 kilometers. Now, you are going to be doing this in class, but I'm going to get you started in this lesson because I want you to uh, be able to understand what we're doing in a very short amount of time. Keeping in mind that the perimeter has three values that have to be added and keeping in mind that uh, not all sizes will be able to make a triangle. How many different triangles can you make with 12 kilometers? So let's suppose you had a 1 kilometer side and a 1 kilometer side and then a 10 kilometer side. You might think that this would be a good formula for an isosceles triangle, but you'd be mistaken. Just for the sake of uh, argument, why don't you take these three sides and see if you can turn them into a triangle? I'll bet you can't. So what we'll do is we'll write no, not possible to make a triangle with this particular set of values. The next thing that you do is change one of the values and then see if you can make a triangle from that. One and two and 9. So imagine that this is a 1 kilometer path attached to a 9 kilometer path and a 2 kilometer path. Can you make a triangle out of that one? And no, you'll find that if you put this one attached to the 9 kilometers and this 2 kilometer one attached to the 9 kilometers, they wouldn't meet up there. So what I need you to figure out is how many times will you have to change this value and this value to make it into a triangle that will work? and then keep going until you find that you're starting to repeat the values. You can go ahead and try out the next few triangles and uh, why don't you go until you actually find a successful triangle but then keep in mind of course that you'll be working as a group with your teammates and uh, you must show your work in class when you do this so make sure that you understand how this works and think about some ways that you can show how this would work. You can use rulers and pencils and erasers and whatever you might need to use to make this type of uh, experiment work in your favor. Thanks for joining me for Exploring Triangles. This has been Chapter 11, Lesson 2.